we are going to start today with partial difference with regrouping. This is very similar to partial sums and partial difference without regrouping. Um, so I've already set up the problem 76 minus 49 and our t-chart over here tells us there are seven tens which equals 70 and six ones and four tens which equals 40 and our nine. Nothing's changed there. So then we draw our equal sign and this time we're going to start in the ones column. So we're going to ask ourselves, can I do 6 minus 9? And if I have 6 apples, can I take away 9? The answer is no. So I'm going to go next door and reminding myself that next door the place value is worth 10. So I'm going to borrow 110 from the 70s. So if I borrow 110, it's going to be 70 minus 10, which makes this 60. Now that I borrowed from this side, I have to bring that over to my one side. So if I already have six and I borrowed 10 from this place value, six plus 10 equals 16. Now I just get to subtract, and again, I'm starting on my one side. So 16 minus nine would be seven. 6D minus 4D equals 20. And now I just add 20 plus seven equals 27. Being sure to box in my final answer and I also like to have the final answer over here on the original problem. So that is partial difference with regrouping or borrowing and it's very similar to partial sums and partial difference with, re with without regrouping. Hope that helps. Goodbye!